when you've got information and it's of a medical variety, especially if you work for a medical facility or someplace that has the type of confidential patient uh, information that is supposed to be kept conf confidential, the laws guarding that stuff is called HIPAA. And uh, I will find out what it stands for in a moment, and perhaps our guests can fill us in as well. <coughs> Steve Sturgeon from Confidential Data Destruction. Good morning. Uh, Steve, let's talk about this, because uh, HIPAA is, is a set of laws governing, I, I know, uh, the, the medical community and how they relay information back and forth, the confidential uh, patient information or the restrictions thereof. Can you elaborate a little more on, on, on how that uh, interacts with confidential data destruction? Well, HIPAA stands for the Health Information Protection Act. Thank you. And that basically defines a, a set of procedures and processes that, that anyone dealing with uh, private data and health-related information uh, must conform to. And, and in order to protect the, the individuals or their customers' um, information. So that includes everything from prescription numbers, social security numbers, telephone numbers, uh, dates of service, and the like. Anything that's related to, uh, to the events that took place. Uh, and that could be life insurance, could be doctors, could be dentists. Um, and they're required to have what's known as a business associate agreement. And that ba if they do if they do a use a service on the outside to destroy that information or to work with the process and so that business associate agreement basically says that that the person or company that they're working with complies to the hipaa hipaa laws and will actually destroy the material in a in a confidential manner and that is uh, of course what confidential data destruction uh, is is in compliance with uh, the hipaa laws and regulations correct and that means of course that uh, if uh, you know if you work in the medical industry and see your friend coming in for a checkup or an exam and you find out that they've got something you can't uh, go around and tell it that's basically what that means so you know as a patient that your information is, is secure at least according to the law so talking about this uh, in interacting you mostly in that case interact with hospitals you interact with insurance agencies any other type of businesses all doctors offices of all kinds from uh, chiropractors to um, any medical professional, uh, psychiatrists, psych you know, um, psychologists, and the like, from small offices to large facilities. Uh, and is there anything special that you have to do from a destruction standpoint to make sure, or is it kind of the same thing as what you do with uh, other information? We use the same process. Um, it's really a custody issue. That the moment any one of our destruction specialists arrive on scene to take the information away, once they touch it, it's ours. And uh, we're responsible for taking that information, for destroying it and to ensure and certify that it's been done accordingly. So that's, uh, that's a pretty big responsibility, and uh, clearly you've handled it quite well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about... Um, in, in regard to that, so that doesn't, does that entail like insurance agents or anything like that? Or you mentioned life insurance earlier. Is it just, just specifically related to, to medical? Anybody that's, captur anybody that's capturing either health-related data, which would include insurance companies like for life insurance evaluations and the like, uh, they capture a lot and they, and they process lab results and the like. So they have a lot of paper, you know, paper material that's not... Uh, that uh, does contain HIPAA-related data. Now, do you know what happens if uh, any of these organizations violate the HIPAA rules? Is there, uh, is there what, what type of penalties are there? Well, it's considered a data breach, okay, uh, which needs to be reported either by ourselves, uh, if, if it happens while we have custody of it, or they have to do it if, if they're notified by a client or customer that their information got out the door in some fashion. Uh, there are fines associated to it, upwards of a quarter of a million dollars in incident. Thanks. An incident. Remember that. Per incident. So uh, especially making sure that your information is secure, protected, and destroyed in a proper professional manner. Confidential data destruction located in Valencia. Give the address and the phone number. Address is 28042 Avenue Stanford and the phone number is 661-257-9970. And website? Uh, www.shredderonsite.com Outstanding. Steve Sturgeon, thank you so much for stopping by. From Confidential Data Destruction, you know that your data is secure and will be destroyed in a proper professional manner.